and welcome back to Spike's Zenotic Gem Regional Cup 2022. We have Spike on here versus Rainbow Shadow. This is the second attempt at this match because there was a disconnect from Rainbow Shadow. Shouldn't have it again. But this is promising to be a very good uh, match from what we saw of before the crash. Rainbow Shadow a little bit stronger but Spike's starting to come back. Crash was apparently absolutely um like just bang computer gone so it wasn't like the uh, the comeback was caused by dodgy internet on rainbow's side but spike definitely starting off a little bit better than last time which you won't have seen unless you watch this live um but in the first frag here both players got a pretty strong start Spike just hit really well in that fight. Now he's got to find another one. Looking to find it. Got very strong stack here. Spike did make this map. Uh, I know I said he made Fuse in another video, but he didn't make that city made that, uh, I was told after. I've always thought Spike made it, but no, it turns out I'm just a moron. It's fine. Oh, a beautiful prediction of the timing. That was absolutely perfect and a dead on shot. Both players probably going pretty low here, trying to scoop up scraps. And Spike has timing on one of these items. I assume Rainbow Shadow has timing on the other 50 armor. But it's whether Rainbow has timing on this Mega. I think he might do now because picking up the... Uh, picking up the sound cues is a very small map we've got here. Beautiful shot from Spike playing a hell of a fast game right now. And there is the third frag coming out from Spike. Let me wait on this armor. Very low ammo on the rocket and the... Uh, or generally everything right there. Rainbow going to pick up a frag here with the Cryolink. Probably going to find the second just now. Somehow Spike manages to survive on two health as rainbow doesn't manage to connect enough shots in that moment but with the rocket launcher you're not going to get far in a head-on head collision with rainbow shadow both players are in an interesting position where neither really has any stack at this point in the game neither's been able to take control which is one of the things that's great about these maps in Zenotic, specifically these uh these maps like fuse and quark where the um, there is no mega armor, so no one can ever really get massively stacked up. Games that aren't very close do tend to suck a little bit because you can always tell you there's no there's no backup little armors you can try and get back into the game with. Um, but close games absolutely shine on a map like this, as we're seeing right now. Both of these players. Playing incredibly well. The Crylink hitting that rocket launch, and you can see it just slows the rocket down. Very interesting thing about this game that uh, projectiles have a lot of interactions. You can shoot the rockets out of midair, um, and you can slow them down with the Crylink. Pull your opponent towards you with the Crylink. Interestingly, it slows down rockets no matter what they're doing. It would be very interesting if it sped them up, though. You're shooting at someone, they're shooting rockets, you shoot them with the Crylink. It, sh um, it speeds it up. Beautiful battle over Mega there. Rainbow Shadow... I did hear the respawn before Spike picked up the uh, the armor. That's quite a nice trick. I don't know if he meant to do that. He looked quite confused about it, but quite a good trick to do. I've seen it done before in proper... Uh, like, properly meant to be done. Where you go through the teleporter after blastering. But yeah, I was going to say, uh, so I heard the respawn from Rainbow before Spike picked up the Mega, so I'm not sure if Rainbow uh, knows what time the Mega is at right now. But he is going to be able to get fairly well stacked. If he needs to. And Spike has not got complete control, but definitely like six Megas in this time. It's good control over the Mega as Rainbow manages to pick up another one. Spike spawning over by the next. 
Rainbow must have just spotted the corner of Spike there because we barely saw Rainbow. Spike getting that Mega and a beautiful shot. Just Rainbow jumping straight into the crosshair of Spike right there. And getting taken out. We're halfway through this match and it's going so close. It could go either way right now. There is quite a big score gap. But if you think the, the frags are coming so thick and fast, you know. If this were to swing the other way and there's no major control that Spike has over the whole map controlling it because it's such a small map type corridors and all that. Um, so Spike is kind of just dragging a little bit of a lead out here. But Rainbow's absolutely still in this game. Just needs to find a lucky break. I think that's that could be the end of him uh, on this one. To be honest, it could be that just can't seem to get off the start, get some armor. And Spike's playing a beautiful game controlling the armor, but he, has, he hasn't he has picked up an armor in actually a little while. But he's even going to not even check that armor. I'm fairly sure he doesn't know when any armors are up right now. Going down to 30 health. Rainbow's got the mega. Spike unable to connect. Rainbow able to predict where he's going to go and take him out. And that could be the swing we needed. Spike hasn't picked up armor in a little while. Rainbow knows where all the armors are. Going to push Spike out. Spike's now just swept around. Picked up the armor. Rainbow just a tiny bit late on the timings. Coming in for the five seconds. And Spike's managed to swoop in with a little bit of luck, I would say. Uh, I, I don't think he had the timings on those. But I think Rainbow's timings were a little bit off. That caused him to be a little bit late to the party. But, again, neither player has control. Neither player's been able to seize control. Spike's currently just sat on the Mega hoping for the best. And then getting the hell out of dodge when Rainbow Shadow comes in to try and take it. But Spike does have three minutes left and a big stack in the uh, kills department. So he does have a bit of a... A bit of a play to sort of backpedal. I still think it could be too soon to do this. Uh, as Rainbow, you know, he's going to be able to pick up another frag. And now Spike just kind of has nothing. And the fact that he's been backpedaling means he doesn't quite have the same control over the armors. So it's difficult to backpedal for this long because if you don't have the armors, you will get taken out a lot quicker. So... We'll see how he's able to pick it up, but Rainbow's going to rush in there. Take a ton of Electro. You placed perfectly. Clan Arena players may complain about the Electro, but actually, in Duel, it is a very well-balanced weapon. Terribly an open space, but if you can catch someone at the corner, absolutely beautiful. Spike only just able to get away there. The Crylink using its pulling device to try and stop, a, uh, stop running away. And the Electro takes another victim. Spike is definitely trying to play the plus back type game here. You can see he's not respawning immediately. He's waiting for that respawn. He's trying to stay away from Rainbow. He definitely doesn't want to go in for a fight. But at the same time, he's, he's not heading into things like you would think maybe you'd want to. Rainbow's now going to know where he is. If he was looking in that general direction, you can see hit markers through the wall. Nice shot from Spike there. An absolutely beautiful prediction that Rainbow was going to come through that. Probably didn't expect to get the kill on the first bang, but absolutely brilliant. Rainbow was probably not expecting Spike to be uh, on the other side of that with a Crylink pointed perfectly for the shot. Spike using verticality to his advantage here. Going through this, neither player can connect their shot, and Spike's going to go down. A lot of deaths to the spam at the end of a fight here. But Spike looks to have a convincing lead. I think he should be able to plus back now. His ability to sort of get a lucky frag in all of this mayhem, and potentially Rainbow trying to rush a lot in between, has let him, uh, let him maintain his lead. I think there was definitely a way Rainbow was coming back into this. But Spike's played it incredibly well. Not quite fully plus backing. Definitely making the shots where needed. You know, he's, and this map, 
plus back spam is very powerful if someone's just dead rushing you, dead hard rushing you. But we'll see how he's able to react to all of this. And there it is. Spike takes the first map, 16 to 11. And we'll see what happens on the next one. Thank you for watching. Check out the other videos in this series. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next Spike vs. Rainbow Shadow game. See ya.